Are you ready for a beach vacay? Is it hard to pack? Sometimes you don't know what to pack, how much to pack. You wanna get a lot of bang for your buck? Well, today I'm gonna show you all the things that I have packed on my tropical vacation right now. Welcome back to That's So Trishy. I'm Trish, my friends call me Trishy, and we love to talk about all things health, beauty, fashion, motivation. And today, I'm in Southwest Florida. I'm in Naples. I am on a tropical getaway. I did just pack. We're going to Key West tomorrow snorkeling. I just learned how to swim, so it's my first snorkeling adventure. And I had to pack in a minimalistic way because you can't take a lot of big huge things on the boat going down to Key West. So come along with me today and I'm going to show you how to pack for the perfect beach getaway and consolidate and use multiple items for multiple different things and look like you are on fire. <laughs> so the first thing we want to pack is pretty obvious swimsuits. Whether you're a one-piecer, two-piecer, tankini, there's lots of options, but for most of us over 40, we want a little bit of cover-up as well. So I wanna show you some things that I got. First up, I recommend going with one bottom that matches several tops if you're a two-piecer like me. So I found these white bottoms. They have cute drawstring ties on the side so you can make them as small as you want or larger for a little more coverage. I would say they're a mid-size as far as coming up halfway to the navel. They're not super low, they're not super high, and you can match these with lots of things. They were very affordable. I got white so it would go with a lot of things. I also have some black ones. Where I purchase most of my swim tops is Cup She. I'm gonna link everything in the description box for you. But I find, number one, Cup She has the cutest, most unique swimsuits. And number two, I have to get two different sizes. If you're like me, my bottom does not match my top. <laughs> so it works great for me if I buy those inexpensive, solid bottoms like I talked about and get something cute. So here are a couple of the cute cup she tops that I got for swimwear. You can see one is a one shouldered. It's very tropical looking. The other is kind of a um, peach and coral little flowered number. It's got that smocked um, ruche in the chest so keeps the girls covered, keeps everything where it needs to be. There's nothing worse than maybe trying to snorkel <laughs> and a girl pop it out. <laughs> Swimsuits. I wanted to pick something kind of on fire for my husband, so I picked this red. It's really unusual one um, shoulder red swimsuit. You're either going to love it or hate it. It's got some interesting material. It's more like shirt material, so it's not the slick lycra. And honestly, I ordered a large to go up for the girls. I probably should have ordered a medium. Well, hi, little birdie. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Can you hear that little tropical birdie? Thank you. If it's not the air conditioner running, it's the birdies. This suit has a really cute high-waisted bottom. So if you like the two-piece but you want a little more coverage, um, I have a nice scar, surgical scar, so the higher ones do cover that better. This is a really cute swimsuit. My husband walked in when I was trying this on and he was like, Ooh, I like the top. <laughs> so I may throw that in uh, tomorrow when we jump on the boat and go to Key West. I paired this with a scarf because everything in this video is about getting as much mileage as you can. So you can see, you can tie a longer scarf just around your bust area and it makes a really cute, long, flowy cover up. Or I tied it at the waist, tied it in half, it makes a shorter sarong. I also made it into a top. Multiple ways to wear these scarves, guys, and these swimsuits. Let's talk cover-ups. I like a good cover-up. You can also see the white swimsuit with the white sarong. Super cute, tied on the side, tied a little bit to the waist. It also helps cut your waist if you're worried about looking a little thicker that way. Turn your knot different directions and you can play with it and that really helps kind of define that waist and cut it up a little bit so you're not looking quite as wide on the bottom. Next up is the cover up that started this whole video. This is from TJ Maxx. This reminds me of the JLo, was it Grammys or Oscars that she wore like, I don't even know, 15 years ago it was deep plungy. 
It is a cover-up, but I have paired it with several things so you can stretch your wardrobe, not take as many pieces in your suitcase. So first, I found this little bikini. You can see some um, little glimpses of it. Royal blue, that goes perfect over this. So tomorrow night actually is my first night in Key West with my husband. That's the number I'm gonna wear by the private pool that we have. I got those at Walmart and they were $5 each. So great mix and match. I could buy the different size to accommodate the different sizes of my body. But at my Walmart in the Midwest and the Walmart today at Naples, they were back by the shoes, so not in the women's section. So $5 each, guys, for those bikini pieces. Since the cover-up is the star of the show, I paired it with a night out look. I ordered these pencil skirts off of Amazon. I think you will love them. They are so good for so many things. I paired it with pretty cover-up. You can also pair it with a t-shirt and you can pair it with some sneakers. And so it can be a casual running around the island or running around the beach area, sightseeing outfit. But pair this with that pencil skirt and some cute jewelry, maybe a tube top or a top like this, and you've got a night out look. Next up is for my one-piecers. I found this cute hot pink number on one of my favorite online boutiques. They're from the USA and it's called Lime Lush. It's not sponsored, I just love them. I'm gonna link it in the comments. I adore this one-piece swimsuit. As you can see, it has the one shoulder little bow at the top, really good coverage. So we wanna double up our pieces for swimwear, night out, etc., etc. I took that cute hot pink swimsuit and I put it with a wrap sarong skirt that ties at the waist. You're gonna take a peek at it. I'm gonna link it in the comments. This next look is for those of you who do wanna show a little more on top. You like the little bikini. This is a cute bikini top and it has a wrap around right underneath the bikini and I paired this with bikini swim shorts. But these are some more boy shorts so this is alternative for those of us who don't wanna just wear the swim bottoms. I paired this bikini black top with swim shorts and then I got another sarong skirt but this time a little more jungly. I got a leopard print. I think it's so super cute. It buttons and ties. You could also wear this as a night out. This one is actually meant to be a regular skirt. So we're double dutying it as a night out skirt and a cover up. So that's kind of the name of this whole video. What can we get mileage out of several different ways? All right, moving on. Trish, I'm running out of room in my suitcase. I need some tops. Well, you can take some scarves that you use for sarongs and make a top out of it. So this is one that I made. This is just a really pretty blue scarf. This did not come together. And man, does that not like, look like it came together? I just took one of the necklaces out of my closet. This had uh, movable little gold pieces. I separated them in half. I took the scarf, looped it just one time through the necklace, tied it around the back. If I stopped there, it would probably look like a burlesque show. <laughs> then I just pulled open the scarf. So it made a super cute top. You can wear that with anything, shorts. You could wear that with that stretch skirt I talked about. Let's talk shoes. We don't have a lot of room to pack shoes. So I always say wear your clunkiest shoes on the airplane. I wore my cute sneakers that I got from Walmart, 15 bucks. One of the biggest influencers, a sweet, sweet girl actually from my hometown. She recommended these and I bought two pairs, one for home in the Midwest and here down in Naples. So wear your clunkiest shoes so you don't have to pack them. Then if you can only pack three shoes, here's the three I recommend. Your sneakers, a pair of wedge heels that are comfy. You're not gonna believe where I got these heels. These are Crocs. <laughs> I personally was never a huge Croc fan, but guys, they make the cutest wedge sandals. I think they're called Lee, and I have them in every color. They work great for going out and doing touristy things. They are soft and comfy. They support your arch, but they're super cute, so you can pair them with your night out look. Next step is everybody has to have a pair of flats. So I have my Tory Burch. Um, you can get some look-alike. There's some cute Sam Edelman, and I'm gonna link a few look-alikes for you. And if you have room to bring a fourth pair, I feel like every woman needs these shoes. These are Madden Girl nude strappy heels. 
curls, these elongate our legs. They go with everything. There's not a color you can't wear with these. So you can get lots of mileage. Next up, we need some cute, comfy clothes to go out and see all the sights. One of my favorite t-shirts are these from Amazon. They are form-fitting. I hate a big, clunky tee. It makes me feel like a boy. <laughs> <laughs> these are form-fitting soft and comfy and they come in a five pack from Amazon and you can pair this with anything shorts pants dressy pants under a blazer here I've paired it with one of my favorite white skirts that I've had forever you could wear this with those cute wedgie sandals or you can wear them with sneakers another casual outfit or could be your night outfit I paired that skirt that I've showed several times out of my closet I'm gonna link some very similar ones I've had had this skirt guys forever I think I got it at Target like 10 years ago and I have paired it with one of my favorite new cute summer tops it's from one of my favorite trendy companies I always talk about buy classy pieces that sustain and then buy a few couple inexpensive trendy cute pieces and you can always donate them at the end of the summer this cute black and white smocked check a little shirt that has a um, little off the shoulder number I pair that with my white skirt it's from papaya it was super inexpensive another cute beach wear outfit for your going out sightseeing is this super cute little romper this is by New York and Company I am featuring this um, on my Friday finds this week if you want to visit me on Instagram every Friday I feature one of my favorite things I've gotten for the week and this super cute romper I love it for several reasons. It's eyelet. Guys, anytime you have texture, it's gonna hide any lumps and bumps you might have. And I already said for me, I'm a birth given woman. <laughs> I got the curves, I got the hips. So any kind of lace or eyelet is gonna cover those bumps. I wanna talk about jewelry. I don't have a lot of room to pack a lot of my jewelry, so I found this super cute beachwear set. I think it's a set of nine or 10. I think it might be nine earrings and one cute leopard skin bracelet. These went with all my tropical outfits. I don't know how well you can see these, but look how cute with my kind of um, J-Lo cover-up. They're perfect tropical. They have some rattan ones, some um, shell looking ones, and this whole set was from Amazon for 20 bucks, and it comes in a little case, so it fit perfect in my little personal item bag. What's a personal item bag? If you don't know, you need to go back and watch this video here. This video is this in a series of three. Today's video is the final one in the series of three on how to pack like a travel guru. So your jewelry, um, this nine, 10 piece set for 20 bucks, perfect for your tropical getaway. We could not do a beach getaway packing um, episode without talking about sundresses. I'm going to show you a cute sundress. It's a shorter link that I wear with some of my sandals. You could also pair it with those nude heels for a night out. Second look is a longer sundress. This one made me feel like a senorita. <laughs> it, this is a red number off the shoulder and it goes almost floor length. You could wear this on a night out to a restaurant or you can throw it on at the beach. I could see a big floppy hat with this. Another thing, if you're looking for a mileage on your accessories, get a few ties. I add them to my purses. You can tie them to some of the edges of your purses. It makes a really cute statement. You can add them to your hair. If it's not a hot place, you could tie them around your neck. You can add some of the longer ones to your waist for a belt. So lots of mileage out of the scarves. All right, we're still talking, going out on the town, um, sightseeing looks. This is a super cute sundress. It's made out of really thin kind of denim material, so it's cool off the shoulders. I paired it with this super cute funky little hat, protect my skin, and some sneakers. But you could also um, pair it, I think some of the footage I have on some of my Tory Burch sandals. You can pair it with flats. I throw on a matching belt. Again, lots of mileage. All right, I have to mention, but I didn't have a lot of time left and footage time left. You have to pack your sunscreen. I recommend packing mineral sunscreen instead of chemical to be healthy. I've had five skin cancers, so I always wear sunscreen and body camouflage. I'm gonna link my favorites in the description box. 
you need a hat and I've got some cute stylish hats and some of this footage and you need glasses I am going to tell you some of my favorite glasses are sunglasses with readers in the bottom if you're like me they're at the Dollar General and I think they're eight bucks I keep those everywhere because you don't want to be at the beach <laughs> Sometimes my husband has sunglasses and readers over it. And if you just want to say, hey, I'm over 40, <laughs> works perfect. That is it, guys. I am sorry about the air conditioner. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This video actually took me a long time to put together, but it really helped me pack for my getaway. Let me know in the comments what is an absolute that you take on your beach getaways. And number two, what did you like the best? What are you going to try to take? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, will you give it a thumbs up? You don't realize some of you, but that really helps the algorithm like my videos and it helps boost me out to more people. It helps us succeed on YouTube. And consider subscribing. It's free. I love to help women and talk about all kinds of challenges and things that I've had with skin, fashion, diet, body, health, motivation. So if that's for you, come back and see me by hitting subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have an absolutely great Beach getaway. I'm out. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, great. You do boo you. You do boo you. <laughs> Start to say thong. Thong, the thong, thong. No. Now there's birds. There's an air conditioner. There's birds. I'm sweating my booty off. A really cute sarong. <laughs> and it's sharan, sharong, thong, the thong, thong. Um, wicker type ones, not wicker, rattan. <laughs>